Okay, so we're going to take a look at how we go about creating a um, layout with columns. So we come on in and we're going to come to File, New, and we're just going to keep it with a document. We're going to look at one page. Now, right as we get in here, we can see that we have these different um, options. So we can have columns, we can have gutter width. Now, we see this measurement too in pikas, and pikas are a measurement that's used for type. And when we think about pikas, it might be hard to you know, wrap our heads around them, but we can think that there's eight pikas in an inch. And in a way, it's an easy way to really very easily divide up an inch. So you might agree or disagree, but um, all right, so I'm going to come on in. I'm going to say, I'm going to come in. I'm going to say, all right, I want this to be six columns. I'm going to say, okay. And here we have it. We have our pika width and all of that good stuff. All right, so moving right along. Now, the next thing I want to do is, even though I have these columns, I could think that, you know, all right, I'm going to put my type over here. Maybe I'm not going to put, divide it perfectly into these six columns. But what I might do is begin first with my header, okay? And maybe I'll come on in, we can think as we design, that our um, designs have both rows and columns. All right, so I'm going to begin with just a rectangle tool. I can come on up in here. I can change the edge so it's rounded. I'm going to choose this to have a fill of color. Go with something. Hmm, that's too, definitely, definitely too bright. I can choose the color that I want. Okay, all right, I'm going to come on in and I'm going to draw this, and this is my header. Excellent. Now I can see this grid underlying this very easily. Now, another thing too is we work, if we want to pull out rulers, we can. Uh, not rulers, we can pull out guides, and we'll do that in a minute. I'm not going to worry about that just now. All right, so now let's say that I wanted to come in for my next one and give this a title. Maybe I'd grab my T, my type tool, and maybe what I do is actually um, just put it right in here, succulent plants. Uh, maybe I want to highlight this. Uh, I want to change my font size. Now, we can access all of this right up in here, okay? But we also, in, um, in design, we also have our, we come to our window, we come to our types and tables, we have our character window, which I have uh, open somewhere. So here it is right in front of me. All right, so we can also come in here and change things around in here. So I just did that one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. I want to change the size of this. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to move it in and center it where I want it to be. I can tell it's centered right there. Voila. Now let's say I wanted to start coming in and putting type in. How could I go about doing that? Well, what I would do is I would come on in. I could grab my type tool and I could draw a type box. Maybe I want this to just be, um, you know, three of the columns. Why not? If you can come on in here is my my type box. Now, just for that of it, I'm going to come on in here and I'm just going to insert um, fill with placeholder text. Okay. Now, again, just like we have our character window, we also have our paragraph window, and I can come on up in here and I can justify my lines, justify all lines. And if I undo the hyphenate, there we go. There we have it. Okay, so you can see we have this font, and um, it's within a grid. Now, let's say that I come on in, I want to place an image next, and then I want my type to wrap around my image. Well, we can do that too. So we can come in, I'm going to click on off here. I'm going to come on in, I'm going to come to File, Place, and I'm going to just find an image. I think image four is my succulent plant. Hopefully it is. Nope, that's actually not it. Come on in over to here and we'll come on down. Hmm. All right, we'll just do this one right here. All right, now I can see I have this tree. This is actually going to be really big. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to flip it around. Okay, and then what I want to do is if I come on in, I start changing the box size of this and I can pull this on over and I could come on in here and I could say fit content proportionally. Oh, okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, pull this up, 
make this bigger. Again, we can make this a little bit bigger. And one more time, I'm gonna to come to, uh, actually why not, fit content frame, it won't warp it too much. And I can move this over. Now, let's say I had this right down here and I wanted to wrap my type around it. Well, it's actually pretty easy to do. And how could we do that? Well, let's take a look. Let's move this first. I will, what I would do is I could, I could grab this image right here bring it right over all the way over to the edge um, and what I could say is I could come on in and I could just click wrap around bounding box next thing we can do we can come on in we can grab our type tool and again I'm going to just draw my type box wrap it around this guy I have two columns right in here and one more time I can come on in to type and I can fill with placeholder text again, and this is all wrapped around this perfectly. All right, again, I can I can resize this so we can see that InDesign gives us a lot of really good control over how we can go about and laying something, laying out an image. Now, if I wanted to too, if I wanted to uh, work with this font in here again, I can come on over to my uh, paragraph, just like. I did to my other one I could justify all my lines and if I wanted to take this image in here I could up and sometimes it's hard to actually get a hold of this guy I'm gonna grab him up oh, hold on I'm gonna pull this little my image out just a little bit um, and what I want to do right now is I want to give some space around it so what I'm gonna do is let's up this up oh, and putting it down Let's up the pikas. This one is top offset, and you can see it's moving. And now we want bottom offset, but we really want the left offset. So let's put in three pikas. Oh, that's three too many. Um, but we, again, we can play around with this in here, and we can start. Yep, there we go. We can start to see how it will move itself over. Um, now we can put this all back into place. And we can see even as we move this that it does what it needs to do. All right, so there we have it, a very simple overview of laying out type and images. And uh, thanks for listening.